At the Chase Park Cinemas, lost time has been found again. It's the show Between Shows in theater number three, where the Khan 652 electric organ is in experienced hands. Once upon a time before movies could talk, almost every theater in the country had its own keyboard accompanist. And here, because the owner wanted to stand out when people came in, they still do. I'm a small businessman and an independent exhibitor, which there just plain aren't too many of us left. And there aren't too many left like the man at the keys, 73-year-old Jerry Marion. Yes. Marion's love affair with the instrument goes back more than six decades. His dad was an organ repairman. My seventh birthday, he bought me a, a Hammond organ. That gift changed his tune forever. He found his calling. Tell me about your mentor. Stan Can. He was an inspiration to me. Well, hello, Charlotte. Hello. How are you? Hi, Stan. Stan Can, seen here on KSD TV in the early 1950s, was a national celebrity who played the massive Wurlitzer pipe organ between shows at the Palatial Fox Theater. Stan needed an assistant because back then he was lining up shows from the Mike Douglas show and then later on Johnny Carson, Merv Griffin, you name it. He went there and that's how he found me to fill in for him. He filled in during weekday showings and took gigs all over town until the 1980s when theater organists became just wistful remembrances. Welcome to Chase Park Cinema hey. Plaza. How can I help you? Then in 1999, after years of doing odd jobs... Hi, welcome to the Chase. How can I help you? Marion was offered a spot at the new Chase Park Cinemas. There we go. It's just another thing that a small business can do and telling your customer thank you for coming is something that's kind of been lost in the shuffle. Here, in addition to popcorn, candy, and Hollywood's newest releases, you get old standards. Marion also composes his own music for special events, like an upcoming silent film showcase. The Rudolph Valentino's The Son of the Sheik. <laughs> and so you're working 1926. on that now. 1926. You're working on that. Working on it now, yes. Though he's at an age where he could trade in the organ bench for a rocking chair, Marion has no plans to retire. I feel like I'm still youth. I'm still growing up in my youth still. He loves what he does, and people love him. Keeping the past a present for moviegoers. Jerry Marion and the Chase Park Cinemas. Making sure every show is a double feature. I love it. I love it.